All right, welcome back. It's, uh, it's supposed to rain on and off all day today, so we're gonna focus on working on this wall behind me and hopefully we can get the tile up and maybe even get the wood up on the rest of it too. So let's get started. I forgot I drove two screws in here to keep this from sliding around. So to move the countertop, I need to take these screws out. I can't get the one underneath undone, so but I'm pretty sure I can get this undone. I'll just set this somewhere out of the way. decently well except for spilling I thought I got all the water out but I guess I spilled water everywhere so I do need to put a couple pieces of insulation in here which that shouldn't take long but we'll do that but to get the insulation we've got to grab the ladder to get into the loft nobody stole the ex excavator shelter hasn't fallen over yet There's a the ladder. I put <laughs> I put it out here so the rain might rinse off the mud, but it's still pretty dirty. Well, there's the insulation. I just decided that I like the drywall countertop so much I'm just going to bring it back. No, I'm just kidding. I just put this here so I could lay out the tile and kind of shift the pattern and make sure that, you know, everything kind of lines up in a place that I like. And All right, so I'm, I've been mocking these out and messing around with them. And my issue is that there's no real focal point here. I mean, you could say it's the stove. You could say it's the sink. And whatever I, I'm sure whatever I pick, People will say you should have done the other thing. So what I'm gonna do is make the focal point the window and center on the window because the window is in the middle of the wall and then work from the center of the window out.
five and five eighths. Twelve and a half would be twenty-five. Three quarters would be twenty-five and a half. Three quarters plus a sixteenth. Help to have it. And a sharp pencil. All my pencils are hiding. Also not sharp. Well then three quarters plus a sixteenth. So that's where I'll lay out from. this all dry laid out the way that I want it more or less and I spent like hours trying to get these lines to kind of line up and I'm convinced that it's totally random and you just have to do the best you can I don't it's not like it's cut from natural stone where you could actually line it up There, it looks like it's pretty well lined up. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you gotta use the right bit. So this is pretty solid all the way over now. So these are laid out the way they got to go up on the wall like that. So I've got that MK101 that I used to do the hearth for the wood stove. And that's a, a great saw. It's like an old technology, but if you can find a used one, um, that's like what the tile setters were using like 20 years ago. Um, and they're still really good. They just don't have all the features of modern saws. And if I were going to use that, I'd have to bring my generator down here. So I bought this $90 saw. Um, that it takes 4.2 amps so it can run off my inverter. Hopefully it's good enough. I've also got my scorer. So I'm gonna try this thing and see how it works. Right, I'm gonna get this thing set up and then I'll turn the, turn the camera back on.
Let's see if it'll run off my inverter. Hopefully it doesn't have a huge surge. Oh. <laughs> I knew you would want to use the guide because it would probably spray water everywhere. But that's a lot of water. <laughs> All right, so I've got the saw dialed in. This cut right here has to be precise, and it, and it has to be a 16th less than half of the tile because I got an eighth inch grout line. So I have finally got the saw dialed in. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna cut each of these on the bottom so that I can do that while the saw is set and dialed in. The saw is okay, it, it needs a better blade, and it kind of has all the annoyances you would expect with a cheap saw. So I would never recommend it for a tile setter, but for a homeowner that needs to do one or two projects that's patient enough to deal with some minor annoyances. Um, just one of the things like when you go to screw in the fence, it shifts a little bit. So you got to really clamp it down and then screw it in. Um, just, just stuff like that. All right, well, <laughs> sun's setting. It's, uh, it's a nice night out. I was hoping to do some uh, long exposure photography um, and some other stuff, but none of that got done. So um, I think I'm going to make myself dinner, and we're going to head back inside, and I'm going to call it a night, and we're going to finish this project tomorrow. All right, it's day two here. I uh, worked until it got dark last night and uh, got up around seven this morning and just kind of wait for the sun to come over the trees so that I got some power when I run the uh, tile saw. And I was gonna film some, um, some cabin life type stuff last night, but I worked till it got dark and plus I destroyed the place. It's a disaster zone in here. Look at this. Just didn't feel like cleaning up so that I could film in here. All right, so last night I did all my cuts across the bottom, and now I'm gonna do all my easy cuts across the top that are gonna be covered by trim, the ones that don't matter, um, that, that won't show. Uh, and I'm gonna do all those easy cuts before I mix any mud. Um, leave about a, I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch. And I'd, I'd love to use my score for those rip cuts, but I lost my fence to this and I can't get a very accurate cut without the fence. The secret to my score is a really light score. Oh, it might be too far over. Also the cheapest of cheap china tile. I may not be able to get this on this. But this is salvageable. I can take this over to the saw. Thank you. 
sanitized, so we let that slake for five minutes. That just lets it cure and lets the chemicals mix up, and then you remix it, and then it's good to go. So uh, while we wait for that to slake, I just point out I left a eighth of an inch gap here because this board this board is cross grain, so it's going to expand and contract like that. And then I left a about a maybe a little more than a sixteenth of an inch gap right here, and we'll tape this seam with alkali resistant um, mesh tape. Alright, so this is my first piece here. I'm dipping these in water. Just so they don't suck the uh, moisture out of the thin set. That one's the important one because that's what everything's based off of. We got two and an eighth on both sides. And then pull it off and check the coverage. So that's, I don't know, that's probably, uh, I'd say, 75% coverage. So it's for a backsplash, it's probably good. I should probably uh, just butter these areas a little bit more. I should have reinforced down here. It's a little flexy. So I managed to make this cut with that crappy blade, but I'm really playing with fire because some of these I've got them so that I got the grain lined up the way I want. And if I break a tile, I won't find one that fits as well. <laughs> All right, I got another difficult one cut without issue. I honestly don't know if I need this little piece here, like it might be covered by the outlet, but cover, but knowing my luck, it probably won't, so I tried to leave it.
forgot about that part. <laughs> Whoops. Get a more accurate scribe. That's our guy right there. Kind of lines up right there and there. And we'll leave plenty of room for this wood to expand. up let's take a look at what we got done had to put the uh, countertop back on for the cover photo which is kind of annoying but if you don't have a good cover photo no one will watch your videos so um, but I didn't fasten anything down still is not reconnected so let's just check it out tried to follow those grains through um, so you can kind of see and I got this one here, and then I got this one here going across, kind of continues all the way and just kind of disappears and kind of, there was another one up here, but I uh, kind of had to cut that out. Um, but it's not, there is no pattern, as far as I know, there's no pattern where everything lines up. It, it says random pattern on the box, but the grain all does go side to side, so you, you you know you can kind of orient it so it lines up and we'll do a flexible grout line behind my ancient age ancient ancient age 10 star <laughs> uh, stove's not connected this this is kind of garbage right here um, but I'm gonna make a wooden trim like this is my filter for my range hood um, I'm gonna make a piece of wooden trim that kind of just covers this up and like picture frames it so so this kind of ugliness won't show and then of course the wood will get trimmed in on top and um, this window sill is going to come over to like about here so I put this one so it looks like it's going up but this isn't going to show um, what else that's pretty much it so All right, so let me give you some thoughts on tile before I get out of here. I, tile's probably close to my favorite trade. I like woodworking. Tile's right up there with it. Um, in my opinion, tile is probably the most, uh, the most undervalued trade because it's incredibly hard to do a good job. And don't get me wrong, that that I just did right there is a very mediocre job compared to what a true professional tile setter can do. Um, and it's so crazy hard to do it well. And then there's all these guys running around that probably shouldn't be doing tile undercutting all the true professionals out there. So my advice to you is if you're going to do some tile, well, my first off, I would say 
to consider hiring it out because your first, second, even maybe your third tile job is gonna look like absolute garbage. Mine did, I was no different. Um, so it's really, really hard to do it well your first time, but if you are gonna do it, if you're stubborn and a glutton for punishment like me, um, my advice is to, to one, take your time. Don't try and rush through it. If you don't have the right tools, just go back to the store and get it. Don't try to do it without the right tools. Um, so, you know, a saw, a, a, a good tile saw, a hole saw if you're cutting around a shower head or something. Um, and, you know, that saw I got was all right. Uh, definitely need a better blade for it. It was $90 saw, $95 saw. Uh, a good blade's gonna cost you, I don't know, like 60, 75 bucks. So there might even be a saw that comes with a good blade for 150 that might be worth considering, but that saw will get it done. Um, I wouldn't want to use it every day, but it's nice and portable and it only takes 4.2 amps so I can run it off the inverter. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on tile. It's really hard. I think it's undervalued, underappreciated as a trade. Um, and uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry we missed last week. I was visiting my parents in Maine, but I'm back at it. Um, I'm going to have to come back and grout this, and then that might be two weeks from now. The next video might be an excavator video. I'm not sure, but uh, either way, we'll grout it, and then we'll put that wood in, and, and then we'll be on to other stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.